Here we'll talk about why and how to explore context in order to reach certain uh, sociocultural meanings. Exploration is a key factor in uh, discourse or pragmatic analysis, uh, which helps us to understand the context and thereby the meanings constructed in that context. We cannot reach the deep intended meanings of a text without exploring the various aspects of a context in which that has been uttered. Uh, for example, we, we, we can say that various, uh, various things we say every day uh, uh, can be transformed into form of speech acts and these speech acts have certain sociolinguistic uh, aspects and these aspects do affect the meaning of uh, these speech acts. For example, a promise in a certain situation would mean differently uh, and a promise in a, way, in a different situation would mean differently. So we need to look into, into the details of these socio-cultural, socio-linguistic aspects of the context in order to understand the meaning. And th there are various aspects, for example, social differences based on gender, race, class, religion, they do affect the meaning of various, uh, various speech acts. For example, a person with a limited social exposure or limited uh, exposure to the technical jargon of vehicles would not be understa understand uh, an elite, uh, sophisticated discussion about various car brands and their specifications because in his own community he is not exposed to these things. He is not familiar with the context of these, uh, these brands of the cars and their specifications. So, there would be a communication a gap here. The exploration of uh, context, therefore, is very important. We can also do the exploration of text based on certain elements like uh, interactional analysis, interactional sociolinguistic, and finally, with the analysis of social context. Uh, I would, before I move on, I would like to share that all of them are closely interlinked. We, we can develop an interaction and international analysis based on the socio-cultural context of the study. In conversation analysis, we usually look at how people uh, speak and interact orally, and we are less bothered about the written communication. And in such situations, we see that what kind of things have been performed uh, orally, and what, uh, what was the sequence, etc. And based on these technical aspects, we try to derive meanings. Uh, whereas uh, we, we also deal with interaction, uh, interactional uh, sociolinguistics and uh, social context of the talk in, in other aspects of the analysis. For example, if we have a talk between a journalist and a political leader, ideally speaking, this could be more, uh, more easily in, and more meaningfully interpreted with the help of uh, with the help of the knowledge based on background knowledge, social context, and the interactional sociolinguistics of the topics being discussed by the journalist and the political leader. And in this regard, the knowledge of cooperative principle, uh, relevance theory, and culture variables could, uh, could add to our success in reaching uh, the true meanings. If you just consider this text in, in front of you, Linda says, hearing Willie outside the bedroom, calls him with, with some kind of fear. She says, Willie. Uh, Willie answers, uh, instead of saying yes or anything, she ans uh, he answers, it's all right. I came back. Linda, what? What happened? Uh, did something happen, Willie? She, she asked uh, in form of an inquiry. Willie, no, nothing happened. Uh, Willie here clearly flouts uh, uh, the maxims and the speech acts. He doesn't, uh, doesn't answer directly what is being asked by her wi uh, his wife. But uh, we need to understand the context in order to reach their meaning. And we, 
within a certain social context, we could assume that such kind of uh, violation of maxims or, or violation of, uh, I mean, direct direct answers is uh, usually uh, usually done in close connections who, who share certain background knowledge. For example, social relations like spouses, sons, or family member they do have shared knowledge of so many things in their daily life. Therefore, they can afford to violate uh, some maxim, maxims of the talk. To conclude, we can say that the understanding of context is, is an absolutely a key factor in understanding the meaning of a text. And this context usually includes the social context or physical context which further comprises uh, the elements of social context, uh, various uh, mental words and the roles people, uh, people perform in this social context. We also have social, critical and cultural understanding uh, of various, various norms of such context which are relevant to the, com uh, to the particular communication which is likely to be analyzed. We also uh, need background knowledge context based on the cultural knowledge and interpersonal knowledge of the interlocutors. We also need the linguistic context which is cortex. Uh, the context of the words themselves, the verbal context. In short, we can say uh, that all these con contextual factors do collaborate to create a certain meaning. Because the creation of meaning is a collaborative activity of various uh, human beings who interact with each other and the social, uh, social and political culture in which they perform that activity of interactional collaboration.